get by It resides between my eyes Walked through the fire Came out better on the other side See lights like a peach If you find the sand And right now I'm feeling like a hundred grand You are listening to Inspired Insider With your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders like the founders of Atari, Zapier, P90X, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Uh, This episode is brought to you by Rise25, which I co-founded with my business partner, John Corcoran. Rise25's mission is, what our superpower is really, Ross, is we help people connect their best referral partners and customers two businesses. And so we do it in three ways. We do a done for you media piece. Um, basically we run a company's podcast. We have them launch their podcast. We run it. We distribute it across 11 different channels, you know, dedicated blog post goes with each episode, social media. So the person can simply show up and talk and we do everything else. Um, our team has been working with podcasters since 2009. I personally credit podcasting as the single best thing I've done for my business and my life. It's allowed me to connect with amazing people like you, and other founders and making best friends, finding my business partner, just countless relationships. So I think if you have, if you don't have one, everyone should have one for sure. Um, we also have a done for you lead generation service where we manually reach out. It's not paid manually reach out to send consistent flow of customized outreach messages to your ideal clients and referral sources. We also do done for you VIP events, um, VIP events with larger conferences, We partner with software companies or larger conferences and help them bring their highest level people in the room to connect and collaborate. We've even shown up in Elvis costumes. Uh, I don't know if we'll do that one again, but (laughs) I know Ross and his team, I basically see them everywhere at all the conferences. They obviously see the value of going and getting face to face, you know, Um, and it does require a lot of humans to do what we do. So we only look for and work with the right company. If you have questions or you're interested, go to support at rise25.com and email us. I'm especially excited, Ross, today. I've been doing a lot of research. I've seen you guys everywhere. You are everywhere. Um, today we have Ross Andrew Paquette, fo- uh, founder of Merrill Post. And he founded Merrill Post in 2011. So I want to hear what the landscape looked like in 2011 um, as an email service provider. But It quickly grew beyond the original vision and they help simplify customer engagement for companies across the board with their technology. So we'll talk about how the, you know, kind of the evolution of the product because it used to be email and now they basically handle it. We'll talk about single customer view because really that's what they allow companies to do. And they became one of the fastest growing companies in North America without ever raising funding. So we'll talk about Ross's um, opinion on bootstrapping versus raising money. And Merrill Post is trusted by companies like the Golden State Warriors, Mercedes Benz, Livestrong, the New York Post, and even smaller teams growing uh, like ZipBuds. And they are also working to make philanthropy more efficient. So they're going to use their superpower technology for the good, uh, greater good of the earth, really. And they use their technology to power nonprofits. And Merrill Post cares is a nonprofit focused on giving endangered species a second chance, uh, restoring ecosystems through conservation initiatives that they have. So, Ross, thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Really excited to be here. Since it's Inspired Insider, I always ask is, one, what's been a low moment, uh, a tough time that you had to push through? And on the flip side, (laughs) what's been a really proud high moment for you? because in this journey, oftentimes we see all, from an outside, the we high. see the good stuff, but yeah. we don't see the challenges and some of the low points. Yeah. What's been, it's been um, a tougher time that you had to push through. Yeah, I think, you know, that's a tough one. I mean, it's not a tough one that it doesn't exist. That's a tough one in that I'd say when you run into conflicts with, individuals, you know, whether it be on your team or in some form in the organization where there's a philosophical difference of opinion, it's no different than having a partner where you disagree, you know, on a specific direction. Um, that was, pro- that is probably one of the hardest aspects, um, because there's no, you know, if, if you're, if you're just on the opposite ends of one another, there's no mi- you know, there's not really a middle ground, right. When you, when you reach a certain level, right. When you're in the early stages, I think, you know, people start up organizations and they're you know they bring on a, a partner and they're thinking 
yeah, it's all going to be, you know, rainbows and unicorns forever, you know, champagne for all kind of thing. The reality is, you know, once you get once, you know, once more money's involved, you know, you get yeah. to five million, ten million, and so on. And people change, right? They change their direction or or maybe you never were, were, were philosophically aligned and it's just coming out now. You don't have a lot of control over that. So I'd say one of, you know, one of the low moments or combination of low moments for me was was certainly, you know, being involved in, in a situation like that and having to make, you know, a tough decision on, okay, well, how do we unwind whatever we did or how do we change the direction of what we're doing? Because we're not going to get onto the same page and let's, let's stop trying, you know what I mean? Because we're just not going to get there. Uh, that's tough because again, there's, there's a lot of things involved. You've got, you know, your, your team may be involved. You've got, there's finances that may be involved. There's, there's risk of course involved. Um, there's, there's so many different moving parts there. And I would say that was, you know, is probably those, those, that scenario for me and those types of scenarios are probably the most complicated of, of, you know, an entrepreneur, founder, executive's life because it's intertwined with your life as well. Like it's, it's, it's part of your, you know, your fiber and your fabric and, um, getting you through those can be, can be very, yeah, you, you, well, sometimes you can't, or sometimes it's easier said than done. Right. Uh, like many things. So, yeah, so that, that I'd say it comes along with those, those kind of partnerships or those, those high level relationships that sometimes you're just not aligned with. That was probably, Would I really, the sound is bad, but. Uh, yeah, that is the toughest part. You know, it's it's the people, especially when it's you know with you, it's mm-hmm. a very high value with the team building culture. So something mm-hmm. involving, you know, something that doesn't go smoothly with the people part is difficult. Would you go back and do anything differently, or you just it just is what it is type of thing? Like if you were to go back to that it's, same I think situation, it is what it is. yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I think it is what it is. It's hard to say. You know, again, if if I if I knew what I knew now, I probably would have done things differently. Yeah, I mean, I would have done things differently. It's not that I wouldn't have done it. I would have just maybe positioned things in a different way. Um, but it, you know, it's again, it's hard because you, you never know what aspects, whether they be you know primary, secondary, tertiary, may have come from that decision at the time. Right? And it's I think a lot of people would be quick to discount that and say, oh, like it just didn't work out. I wish I would have I, I regret it or I wish I would have done it differently. When in reality, they're not thinking of all these other things yeah. that pin on top of them. Well, if you didn't do that, would this have happened? Maybe yeah. it would. Maybe it wouldn't. Some but good came out of I mean. it. Yeah, some good did or hopefully it did. Um, yeah. You know, and that's all you can really hold on to is the positive And then again, think of the forward movement from there. Yeah. yeah. What about on the flip side, um, especially proud moments? Yeah, I mean, everything related to customers is certainly a problem. When I say everything related to, I mean, you know, whether that be the the selling of the customer, the onboarding of the customer, the support of the customer uh, has always been super exciting. I mean, of course, you, you, you brought up a good example early on, you know, meeting my, my chief technology officer. I mean, that that's certainly, you know, among... You know, it's not the t- not that that moment was was it, but that relationship and what that sort of become and and you know who you know who we are to it's each other. Key. That's certainly and they moved over yeah. from India to Toronto. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's not that not that. The, of course, the one hundred percent the relate. You know, that's it's key. But you know, I think for both of us, we would blindly follow the other end of the night, so to speak. You know, um, and that's super rare these days. I mean, you know, a lot of it's. I think that that's an important quality to have, but it's it's really hard to get to that point. I mean, you don't see, you know, I, I would have a hard time saying I do that to other people. I think, you know, people would have a hard time saying that to me. So it's just it's just a difficult thing for somebody to believe in. Um, but we because we had that so early on, you know, and I've always had his best interest in heart. And he's always had mine that it just kind of, you know, got to that. So it's a very proud moment, you know, both then and now that two people were willing to like totally trust one another and there was no you know, confusion or ambiguity or, you know, ulterior motives or, you know, strategies that one person was trying to play against the other was always just a very honest, you know, approach, despite saying very few words to each other, as an example. You mentioned, Not that we don't talk or anything, but... Yeah, you mentioned customers as a proud moment. Um, what's been a favorite, in your mind, customer success story? I know you guys have a bunch of, you know, if someone goes to Meripost.com, you know, customer page, you have a number of you know, really cool Mm -hmm. stories there. Which one sticks out to you? One that's really exciting to me is, um, is a company called Biotrust. Have you heard of them before? Yes. Yeah. So, so they're, 
really exciting to me. They're a nutritional company, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah. Nutritional yeah. company. So there, you know, I could of course pick some of the larger ones, the Rolling Stones, New York Post, Mercedes and so on, um, you know, that everyone would know about, but the, they're exciting because they generate so much of their revenue through our platform. Um, and the way that they generate it. So as in their content is more, is more story based as an example. So it's more like they're, they're, they're speaking to their customers as an example, as opposed to, you know, selling their customers as an example. I get all their you emails, know, Ross. Yeah, so oh, yeah. Email, yeah. yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. So th that's, you know, I've always found that super exciting because you built a business off of, you know, and, and there's a lot of these that, you know, we have a couple of customers who generate a hundred percent of their revenue through, through email and, and marketing automation. Um, so it's exciting to me because of that, right? Because they, they, they're, they're so, you know, deep into an industry that I'm so passionate about and that has, has given me so much, given our, our team and, and company so much, um, that they, that they believe, you know, philosophically that, you know, this is, and it is the top channel, regardless of what anybody wants to say, but that they believe that, you know, again, without, you know, kind of prejudice or without any kind of, you know, differing views. And so I'm proud of that because we were, you know, we, we and, and I were a part of that transition from, you know, probably a 15, $20 million company to, you know, $150 million company. And, you know, being there and working through that process with, you know, with entrepreneurial individuals, like the, the two founders there, you know, was, was super exciting because, the things that they were doing or, or the way that, you know, the way they were approaching it with, with passion and, and, and vigor is the same way I would do it. Right. So I could never fault them. Like they would call me like they were, you know, they're, you know, in a panic, this isn't, something's not working or, or we ran into an issue or, 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 or some, you know, we, we sent to the wrong customer group. Um, you know, they're coming at it with, with, you know, with such, you know, excitement again, or not excitement, it's not the word I would use, but you know, such vigor that, I was like, yeah, if I was in your shoes, this is what I would be doing as well. And so that's pretty fun, you know, really fun because you, you feel a part of that and you know the feeling because you're like, I've been there before with another vendor. Like Ross has been there with Rackspace or with Google or with Akamai or with some of the many, you know, platforms I do. But I wasn't talking to, you know, the CEO of those companies who built the company from scratch. And, you know, they're like, oh, well, you know, you've got to submit a ticket and we'll have somebody call you. And, you know, and, and so every every company is different. But those were, those ones were really exciting. Yeah, the ones that you, me. some of them you were working one on one with the, with the actual yeah. founder, and you yeah. saw them really build their company through that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. From from scratch. Yeah. Love I mean, it. the other ones like again, the big companies, the Mercedes, like they're established. Like obviously, we're making an impact yeah. with them, but the individuals that we're working with there, they're not directly like, personally impacted by. It. Of course, they're going to get you know hopefully promotions and raises and so on and so forth, but. You know they're not going to they're not going to be impacting yeah. the same way of somebody getting going from twenty to one hundred fifty. Yeah. It's not their baby, so to speak. Like these, exactly, this correct. Is, yeah. This is their baby. Like this, we've yeah. seen this. We bird this, this thing. This has and, to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, it has to. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ross, thank you. I appreciate your time. I know right now you're in Sweden um, at the yeah. time we're, we're talking about this. So thank you for taking time out of your your busy schedule. And everyone should check out MarylPost.com. It's M-A-R-O-P-O-S-T.com. And where else should we point people towards online, Ross? Yeah, I mean, our site is definitely the best place to find out anything about MarylPost. Um, I obviously am on Twitter and Instagram and, and Facebook, um, you know, cataloging some of my, my life, whether day to day or travel. Um, you know, so I'm, I, that's a, an area where I'm always excited by because I think they're, you know, again, entrepreneurs aren't, are, are some of them are really out there, but some of them, you know, most of them aren't. Um, and it's really great for, you know, I think, you know, uh, the, the overall communities to, to see what's happening with these people on a, you know, whether it be day, daily or weekly, but what are they doing? Where are they going? You know, wh where are they traveling to? What conferences are they going to? That stuff's all really exciting to, to many people, right? Who want to be inspired to, you know, to do the same and see what that can look like for them. Yeah. Thank you. I want to be the first one to thank you. Everyone check out MarylPost.com. What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better.